So now I'm ready to make my first cut, my first connection. So I'm going to be hooking my radiator up to the uh, drive bay reservoir. This is going to be returning from the radiator to the reservoir. Looks like I'm going to be making a cut right around there. So I'm going to Put the compression fitting around the tube, just like that, slides over. And I'm going to slide that fitting into place and start screwing it in. And that feels pretty tight, so I think that's good. Yeah. I think that's about as tight as we're going to get it. Hey everyone, now I've got my motherboard installed in the new case. And so the next step, I'm going to hook up uh, the last of my tubes between my water cooling components. So now I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to hook up this tube to the Swiftec Maelstrom and then to the CPU pump. So I'm going to use the barbed fitting that's still on the Maelstrom that came with it. Yeah, it looks like this barb fitting is not going to fit my 3 8 inch inner diameter. Nope, it's not. So, I have to put one of my compression fittings, like I plan to, on this bad boy here. So we just twist. The barb fitting comes right off like that, which is good. I didn't really want to use the barbed fitting anyways. Um, however, means this means I have to use my uh, 45 degree angle compression fitting, which is all I got left. I don't have a straight one. Okay, so I have this here 45 degree angle compression fitting and I'm just going to screw that into my little uh, drive bay reservoir. So now that that's in there, I'm going to take the end off that. We're going to stick the tube on there. So we've got the Cap the fitting on the tube, and we're just gonna. I think that's on. That feels like it's on all the way. So we're gonna slide the fitting over it. I don't even know if that's tightening. I mean, it's taking a long time. I, it looks like it's going on. Yeah, I suppose it feels like it's tightening. I really just don't know if this is tightening. So this sucks because I I don't want to have any leaks. Yeah, I don't want to have any leaks. But I can't tell if this is tightening. I can't pull the hose off. If I pull as hard as I can, that hose is not coming off, but it keeps screwing. I can screw it on even farther, but I'm sure that hose is not coming off. I'm pulling, when I pull on the hose, I mean it's 
it's pulling the drive bay out of the place where I screwed it in. So that's pretty secure in there, but I don't, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to redo it. Because I'm not satisfied with this. Now it, it feels much better this time. It feels like it's really, yeah, it's tight now. Yeah, now I can't, I can't tighten it any further. Good. So now we're in. We are in business. So now we're going to connect this thing that we just went through so much trouble to hook up. Going to connect that to our water block. So it's going to go, I sort of, I want it to sort of thread right through the ram, but I don't know if that's going to work. Like if I can do it like this, something like that. I don't know, it seems, it's good I think. We're going to, we're going to clear the ram. So alright, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it like this. Cut it right there. And stick that. I hope I didn't just cut this too short. I think I did. I don't like that. I'm not happy with it. Shit. I'm going to make a new cut. Didn't cut it long enough. Okay. Well, at least I figured out the secret to screwing on this compression fitting. I can't even unscrew it from this angle. Okay, so I'm going to give it another try. Sticking it on the drive bay reservoir. Okay, I think that's good. Gonna double check it with a flashlight. Yeah, that appears to be on there all the way. Let's see. Okay, and round two, making the cut a little bit longer this time. So, yeah, I'm gonna try like. Uh, I guess we'll try right here for starters. Okay, this is going to make it, definitely. Okay, I think that's on as tight as it's going to go. So I got a little bit of rotation there. I can, I can move this a little bit. I can move it up. I can move it down like that. But I think I'm just going to sort of have it can move it here, can move it up like that on the 45 degree angle. So alright, I'll figure out how I want to have it later, but I like that it's got a little bit of slack. So the last thing I'm going to do is hook up the compression fitting from the radiator to the CPU water block. So let's see here. Let's see if this piece is long enough. Yeah, this piece is going to be long enough. Good. So I decided first I'm going to hook it up to the Enzo Tech one because that one is harder to hook it up to. So this one then it looks like I can even cut off geez this is the one the cursed one that 
was too short earlier. I'm just gonna cut off like a centimeter for starters. All right, now I'm, I'm just testing it to see how this is gonna go. So, I actually still have quite a lot of slack right there. That's, geez, I don't know, let's cut off just another centimeter. I don't wanna cut off too much. Okay. Hmm, this is better. But, I think I'm going to cut off a tiny bit more. No, for all of you out there, I'm not going to cut it too short, I hope. I'm, not, I'm only going to mistake make that mistake once. So let's see here. Yep, this looks good. This looks like the length that I want. All right, I'm happy with this, gonna screw it on. That's not screwing on, obviously, as you all can see. Maybe I'll, I'll unscrew this end. Let's see if that makes it any I think maybe, because the issue might be that it's just too tight, the turn is too tight on the fitting. So maybe if I straighten it out there. Yeah, now it seems to be going on. I think it seems to be. We'll see. We'll see. Jeez, my hand is tired. Grip. This is a pain in the ass because I can't get it to screw on. taking it out. Just gonna see if I can do it this way. I see what the problem is. It's getting, this is getting pushed to the side when I try and screw it on. The little, it's not meeting its threads evenly. So, I don't know if that made any sense. But that's the problem. So, okay, I got it. I switched hands. I just pressed this compression fitting down as hard as I could with my left hand and twisted with my right. And that seems to have got it. Yay. Alright. Now I gotta this into place. Okay, so this too <laughs> finally is in there securely and I'm gonna squeeze it on this Enzo Tech fitting. Alright. Looks like we are almost in business. See, there we go. Look at that. Look at how easy that screwed in. Ugh. Enzotech, your fittings are way better than Phobia. I'm sorry I initially said otherwise. If you're thinking between cheap fittings and think, looking at things like Phobia and Enzotech, go with Enzotech. Very happy with them. Phobia, not so much. Yeah, Phobia is more frustration. Okay, so, this looks pretty beautiful. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, this is my first time putting a water cooling system in, and this is pretty much exactly how I wanted it to look. So, yeah, I'm really happy, and let's fill it with that Mayhem's Aurora fluid.